Hey everybody, today we have a super short video straight to the point of how I dehydrate raw liver so I can make liver capsules and have liver as a regular part of my diet. I start out by rinsing the liver piece by piece really well. I want to get off any blood or other liquids that are on the liver itself. After this, I allow it to sit for just a couple of minutes to strain off any excess liquid, any residual liquid. Then I simply load it into my dehydrator. It's really that simple. I'll link my dehydrator that I am using in this video in the description as well as these silicone mats that I use. And that's the white layer that these are being set on. These are great because they allow airflow without the pieces of liver falling through the racks that the dehydrator came with because those racks have gaps that are just a little too big. There are tons of benefits to consuming liver and you'll want to do your own research before adding it like this to your diet. See how much or little you should eat and all of that. According to the Cleveland Clinic, beef liver is one of the best sources of iron. An excellent source of protein is high in vitamin A, which promotes good vision, boosts your immune system, and may even lower cancer risk. You can, however, get too much vitamin A in general in your diet. So if you are looking to add organ meat, such as liver, to your diet, you want to first make sure that you find the sweet spot with regards to how much or little to eat for this reason. I personally dehydrate my liver at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Some people want their liver to be raw, but I personally do not want the risk to, to risk the potential bacterial contamination. So I dehydrate mine at a higher temperature. I'll start with an 18 hour timer and check the liver from there. I'm assuming it's going to take a lot longer than this though. This is after 24 hours and I even added an additional eight hours. After the 24 hour mark, I could almost snap the liver, but there were still some parts that were a little bendy. You wanna make sure that you can completely snap it and make sure you check the pieces that were a little thicker. Everything should have a really good crisp snap. Liver is also loaded with other micronutrients such as B vitamins, which are excellent for energy, healthy nerves, and cell function, just to name a few. The liver I'm using came from beef that ate grasses and pasture plants its entire life. Studies suggest that liver from grass-fed beef has four times the phytonutrients as liver from grain-fed cattle. Phytonutrients are powerful compounds made by plants that help to keep us healthy. As you can see, this is just finishing up in the Vitamix. All right, I, okay, I just got all of this powder moved over to this jar. It's a very um, powdery process. So I do it outside, put it in a jar, and then I also use a lid that has a rubber gasket. You can also use like, um, like a regular canning lid with a ring, um, but I have these one-piece caps that I like because I think it works really well. Um, also, I store this in my freezer. You can totally store this on your shelf I just sort in my freezer. That's just what I do. So there you go. I will try to make a video the next time that I'm filling the capsules. I used to use this little tiny capsule filling um, kit, but now I have moved on to a much bigger one that is so, so nice. So I will try to show that. I hope you enjoyed following along as I make this liver powder. It's so incredibly nutritious and I love getting it. I feel like it helps my energy so much. It's super noticeable. Um, the days where I take it. So I hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you soon.